Hey, good morning. I'm going to show you how to do the hardest part of your Bendix clean, rebuild, whatever you're doing. I'm doing a little bit of uh, clean and a little bit of rebuild all at the same time. Now, what I got was a made in Taiwan kit here, as you can see. Paid 23 bucks for this thing. And I'll tell you what, a lot of parts don't even fit. For example, there's my main jet. Look at the gasket. Looks the same size, but this is the old one. Fits on there. Goes, you know, it's the gasket to the bottom of the bowl. This one goes on there. I can screw it on there, but it won't even see. So that's axed. We'll use the old one. Now here's the old needle seat and you can see that that is clearly deformed so I'm gonna to have to use the new one the old one didn't even have a, have a clip on it this one's got a clip doesn't really match what I've seen before but we'll try her out and I'm expecting to have problems with this one down the road but we'll see that's gonna be the one go in there and you're going to take that and you're going to put it in there like so. Okay. Now, here's another thing. There's my mixture screw. There's my old one. If you look real close, you can see that the old one's perfect. And with the methanol doing things to the metal nowadays, I think I'm going to just use the old one. But let's... It's a little different if you see that. I'll take the spring off. I line them up. And you can see that the new one has a little bit more threads and a little bit less needle, maybe. I don't know. But I think I'm going to use the old one anyway. Now, as far as my float, I got my old brass float. And when you set these up, now I've already checked this one with the drill bit for 3 16 clearance. And it was set right before, and so it's set right now. So you see this little tang here? This goes against the top of the inlet needle and underneath that, that clip right there. So when you put that on, you got to finagle it so that it fits in there. Okay, now that's in there like that. But before you do that, I'll talk to you about these springs. Now this is the old spring I brought up that came off of it. And you can see the end of it's been bent so that when you put it into the fuel float, it'll stay up there nice and... You'll see how I fight with the other one because I'm not going to bend it. But this is what they look like originally. And that's the position that they go in orientated to my my carb. But anyway, how I do this is I usually stick that in there. You can press the spring. Don't drop it because he's you play hell finding it on a dirty garage floor. And I get it in there pretty much like that. I bring it over here. Put it in. I'm gonna make sure my clip is under there. Yep, my clip is under is not under the tab, is it? It's actually sticking in the hole there. <laughs> big fat fingers that's a lot of fun I'll tell you but uh anyway it's out there you go
and I'll stick that in there. I'll just run that. Well, there you see my spring going like crazy. Just what I told you to avoid. That's pretty nice. I'm obviously going to have to edit that, that out, huh? <laughs> but, here, we'll do it the real way. You can stick your new pin in there. They give you a new pin in this $23 kit that fits. Then I stick this end in on top of there. Slide it through. Doing the best I can for you there to see. Now you see this little piece here. This little piece here. That's going to come up. And that sets inside your your float bowl. Okay, and that gives it a little pressure. I guess it offsets the brass weight with the gas flow. Something like that. But anyway, I've already checked. I have 3 sixteenths right there with my drill bit laying it across. I already checked it. Put my drill bits away before I decided to make the video. But here you go. Now, it's a little tricky to get this sucker in there sometimes. But we'll see. Hey, like that. First try. But that goes in there. It's sitting up against the side of the float, float, float bowl here. And there's your inlet. Your nozzle's over here, if you can see it when I open the choke. See, there it is. Now, that's another tricky thing to do is clean that, that little nozzle there when you're cleaning. I should have showed you how to do that. That, that just uh, comes right out. You put a little wrench on it, turn it a couple times, and it comes out in... It's got like a funny bend or something inside of it. I usually go from one side and then from the other with carb cleaner and then compressed air and it'll blow it out. This one had actually been stuck, but I pulled it out. Now when I shake it, you can hear the, uh, the ball bearing rattling down here. And it's nice and clean. And I think I could, once I put the main jet here in. Now, again, I was talking about I'm going to have to use the old gasket for the main jet. But you put that in there. And one of the things you do not want to do here is you do not want to crack this bowl. Turn it in as far as you can by hand or whatever, you know. Use, you can use a 9 16 wrench. But I turn it in as far as I can by hand. And then I put the wrench on it. But when you put the wrench on it, be very, very careful. I have one of these on the workbench that I, that I popped a couple years ago. I'm trying to be too macho, I guess. <laughs> put that on there. I'm getting to the point now where I'm thinking that maybe I don't want to turn it too much. But, you know, don't you don't have to kill it. That's my point. You put it on there. There it is. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is I'm going to, this is the accelerator pump that I pulled out. Your accelerator pump is this little jammy here. This, that's how you tell this is a Bendix, one of the main things. This one's actually Zenith, but Zenith came after Bendix, same thing. You can see this big, huge accelerator pump. Now that fits in there like this and goes under this clip. So, But anyway, I didn't want to use this one. This is the new one that they sent me from Taiwan. And you can see that when I, when you're supposed to soak this one, but even if when I do, it's going to be so long that it's going to bottom out. It's not going to pump properly. You know, and it's crazy. But I do have one over here from an older bike 
that I had that I I bought a the HD kit and this one here is going pretty good I got it soaking so it's going to be nice and pliable when I stick it in there sometimes it's good to have some parts sitting around I would have been screwed with this Taiwan pump but anyway I'll put this in here Now you can see they're the same size and such. But anyway, you stick this in there. Alright, how you set this in there? This is the little clip. You turn it sideways and you turn it like that, and now it's in there. Okay? Now this has been soaking, so it's in good shape. Now just bring it over here. Stick it down in there. Make sure it goes in nicely. You line this up. Line that up like this. And there's a little flathead screw that goes right in there. It's a little brass screw. I'll put that in now. Now you torque it but you don't kill it. You make sure your your boots set real nice there. And it's what it does is when you turn the when you pull the accelerator, the throttle, see it moving there. When you look in the end of your carb out of there, you see it pumps your fuel down through here, up through here, and out that little nozzle and sends it and you got to adjust this nozzle so it spits right down the center of the carburetor and that's when you look in there when you got your air cleaner off and your throat your uh, choke open that's what you see okay that, that's the squirts that you see going down there and now I'm almost done here what I have is I'm going to use my old seat I mean my uh, mixture screw and I'm going to put that in and when I took it out I counted and it was you put it in and you run it down until it just hits see it's crossways now mine was about one and three quarters out so I go half one one and a half one and three quarter and that should put me right about to where she used to be. And once you get your, once you get her on the bike and running, you can play with her a little bit once you get her warm. Now my other jet, that's that's sealed. I I tested that from the inside and I looked at it and it was all I blew it out and with carb cleaner and compressed air. I'm not even going to mess with taking it out. But uh, there's your choke. Now with these things, I'll be honest with you, I just leave the choke open most of the time. I, I can't think of a time that I've ever actually had to use the choke. I think on the racing car, when they set them up for racing, they take the, this butterfly right off. So they don't even mess with it. But uh, there it is. That's the, that's the start up. Now I'll be putting this on the bike. I gotta clean this up a little bit. But uh that's the main thing I wanted to show you. I want to show you the spring, I want to show you the uh accelerator pump. And everything it's a simple carburetor. I've heard it referred to as a to a tomato can, <laughs> basically. So there it is. Good old Zenith, Bendix, whatever you want to call her. Don't forget, subscribe, like. I have a few videos. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.